Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we'll be talking about what to do when you get new filament. I want to show you what I do when I'm trying a new brand of filament. So stay tuned and I'll show you my little process. Hey, Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're going to be taking a look at what I do when I get some new filament. A brand that I've never used before, what I like to do to test it. I'm going to show you that today. So this is the filament that I'm going to be testing. And this is how it was delivered, guys. Seriously, like with a little window where it could have been punctured or messed up. That's how they delivered it. Leave a comment down below. Am I wrong for thinking that you shouldn't deliver filament through the mail this way? Like it should have been in a box that didn't have a window? I mean, what do you guys think? So what we're going to be doing, and we're actually testing out a brand that I've been interested in trying called Geetech. I'm not joking. It's actually called Geetech. It got really good reviews, so I'm going to try it. And if you look right here, they have a sticker, and this is really good. Most of them have it this way, where it tells you the size, the color, and, and usually the temperature requirements. And I don't see the temperature requirements, just that it's made in China and it's recyclable. Maybe it's on the other side. Oh, here, here's the actual logo. So far, I'm not impressed. But it's sealed. I'll give them that. It's sealed. It's just you know, I don't know, maybe I'm overreacting. Let's see if the temperature's on the box. In this case, the temperature's not on there. And that's why I wanted to show you this today, guys. They usually give you a range of temperature to work from. This is PLA, I didn't mention that. And it's usually a temperature between 200 to 230. What I like to do, and I got quite a few here, I like to make these little uh, heat towers, I think they're called. This one's Overture, that was really good. This is Hatchbox Silver, this is my favorite. This is the Tech Bear White that I've been playing with it wasn't bad. You had to work at a higher temperature. It wasn't bad. And this was Hatchbox. This wasn't bad. It was good. It was really good, but it wasn't as good as the silver. I like the silver the best so far. But I put little labels at the bottom of them, and I make these little heat towers. So that way I know, for one, that they print good, and for two, what temperature to go with, because each layer is a different temperature. Now, what you want to do is download it, and I forgot the gentleman's name at the time. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make this video quick. You go to the website. You download his temperature bench or whatever they call them. We're going to download it and we're not going to use the model. We're not going to bring it into Cure. We're not going to do any of that stuff. He already supplies the G-code for you. So we're just going to click that G-code and drag it over onto your SD card. Or in my case, I loaded it up on OctoPrint. So I'm just going to print it from there. Right now I have Overture in there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to preheat the printer because we need to heat up the nozzle. So I'm going to go into the settings and preheat the nozzle. All right, so we're at the printer. We're going to hit the button. We're going to go down to prepare and we're going to scroll down to preheat PLA. I preheat just the end. So I'm going to preheat that. All right, so once it hits temperature, we're going to change the filament. We're going to do that through the menu. We'll hit the button. We'll go to prepare. And you probably didn't see this before when you were setting this up, but change filament appears once it's heated up. So we're going to do that. We're going to hit change filament. And this is what's going to happen. Basically what we just did is when we hit the change filament, it pushes some filament through and then backs it out. So that way there's nothing clogging the actual head of the filament. So now it backed it out enough, it's not in the hot end, and I can pull this out. All right, so from this part, we're actually just gonna grab this right here. We're gonna push down on the retention nozzle thing, I guess. I don't know what it's really called. And we're just gonna pull, yank this out. And that's what it looks like right there. Now you wanna be careful with your old stuff. You don't wanna tangle this up. This stuff doesn't come tangled from the actual factory you tangle it so if you don't put this end in one of these holes you don't want to make a tangled mess so basically we want to take this end make sure it doesn't snap back into itself and go through there we want to put it right in the hole here right here and bring it right in like so and I am glad they did this they actually sent this with a bag to reseal it I like these a lot I put these in bags to reseal them and I put one of those gel packs in there, which is actually in this, and I'll show you that in a second. Add a nice little bag, I put that in there. You wanna take your little knife, hit it right in the middle. This is actually nicely sealed, considering how it was shipped. I'm gonna take the little packet, gel pack, throw it in there with this, and we're gonna seal this. I'm gonna push the air out, and I'm gonna seal this and put this away. All right, so we'll put this away. I throw them up here, my little storage area. So let's see if we're gonna be keeping this stuff. 
So again, you don't want to tangle it. You want to grab the end and make sure you hang on to the end. Before we stick it up on the loop, I want to show you this. You want to hold it way it's going to be like actually on the printer and we're going to snip it a certain way and I'm going to show you that. What you want to do is the curve that goes in, you want to cut it at the angle that it's curving into you at like almost like a needle point. This is the way it's going to be on the printer. We want this to be at an angle like this so that way we can easily feed it into the printer. Put the spool right up here and we're going to take this end, slide it in, hold down on, slide it right in like so, and we're going to push it all the way in until it can't be pushed anymore. And now we're just going to push the button to continue changing the filament. So now it's going to preheat the head and it's going to alert me when it's time to extrude some of the filament through to make sure that it's running smoothly. All right, so it just beeped. It's saying that it's preheated, ready to go. Now we just have to press the button to continue extruding out some filament. All right, so it removed all the old filament and now the new filament's loaded. Okay, so from this point, we're gonna click resume print. So now she's ready to go. We're gonna load that file up now. We're gonna go into the menu. We're gonna scroll down, print from TF. And we're gonna scroll down. All right, so what I'm gonna do from now is I'm gonna upload the stuff to Octopi. Go ahead and print this file, this G-code file. It's gonna take about an hour for that to print. So I'm gonna let that go and do its thing. I'll get back to you in an hour when this is done printing. It is done, I took it off the bed. It is not the best filament for high temperature. I don't know how well this stuff is gonna print. It has a nice sheen. I'm a little on the fence about it. I'm probably gonna do a couple prints today and see how it handles it, but it likes the lower temperature, and that's why it's good to do these temperature gauge, just to see what this filament can handle and if it's something you want to keep. Now, me personally, I don't know. This is the first time I tried this stuff. I got it really cheap for like 17 and change. So I said, you know what? I've been seeing this brand a lot. They have a clear filament that I'd really like to try. I didn't want to spend the money until I saw what this can do first. So I want to see if this filament is actually any good. So far, it, it looks promising. I mean, high temperature, I, I'm not going to hold that against it, but that's why you do this. So that way you know the lower temperature, I say the 200 mark, basic standard QR settings are probably going to be fine in this. So I could do standard PLA, which is really good. I don't have to change anything. Now, I had another brand, it was called the Tech Bear. That one liked 210. It didn't like the lower temperatures. So, you know, it varies. So it doesn't mean it's a bad filament, doesn't mean it's exactly a good filament, but I'm going to try a couple prints and see what it can do. But just by looking at this, you can see the temperature is probably around, I'd say, because this is going from 230 to 190. And I'd probably say the 200 mark or the 195 is where I want to be. Like I said, guys, I'm no expert. I am just showing you what works, and this is what works for me. I've been playing with this printer for like three months now, and I just wanted to share what I do and what I'm doing to test filament, and I've gone through several types of filament, and just to give you a quick list of the stuff that I like, it's Overture, Hatchbox, and Tech Bear so far. Those three have been the best. I tried other ones, did not like, and I'll list them right here. I, I sent them back, they weren't any good, and they got decent reviews. They just didn't work out for me and apparently it wasn't just me because I looked at a lot of these filaments I look at recent reviews and sometimes these companies have bad batches but the the number one you know like I said I'm not sponsored is Hatchbox it's it's been best so far for me it's been pretty consistent the red I wasn't too impressed with but the silver was mm, phenomenal phenomenal that's it for me, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you in any way. And if you want to, ring the bell so you know when I make the next video. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. Sounds like a venereal disease. It's over. That's it, guys. I mean, there's other videos up there. Or if you want to do me a huge favor, click the like button or subscribe button's even better.